the biggest online success secret that is rarely mentioned. This may shock you every morning in the jungles of Africa a gazelle wakes up. It knows it must run faster than the fastest lion or it will not be living by the end of the day. Every morning a lion wakes knowing very well that it must run faster than the slowest gazelle otherwise it will starve to death, that is exactly how your internet business is. It does not matter how old, big, fancy, or sexy your business is. You must run or faster than the competition. If you are the slowest, you will starve to death. If you are the fastest, other are gaining momentum and will soon overtake you, you have seen it all happen in this global meltdown. Mighty companies filing for bankruptcies. These companies were so big that they forgot that business is not about size, it is about spend. They forgot that consumers care less about the names companies, by N.A. true a capitalist economy, no governments should bail out any company. Since governments have no money of their own, what it means is that they use taxpayers' money to bail out those other companies that are unable to stand up on their own. That then means that they punish innovation while rewarding mediocrity. What a shame, for your business not to be the next one lining up for bailout money, realize three crucial things. Point one, there is no such a thing as fair competition. Competition is always ferocious cutthroat and swift. Anytime you come up with an idea that is working and generating a decent profit, your next door neighbor will quickly replicate it and compete with you. To be ahead all the time, come up with ideas at least every three months. In other words, as long as you are alive, be an idea generator. When you die, groom someone to take ever this function. That is the only way your internet business can survive from century to century. An idea doesn't have to be complicated. It could be sending your customers thank you notes when they buy. It could be having a prize for your top buyers. It could be sending out a magazine to all your clients. It could be getting a client shopping randomly and rewarding him with an all paid summer holiday and making this a public affair. Regardless of the size of your company, you can come up with items that fit your budget. But you must do something. Realize that when competition grows, running to the government for protection is an exercise in futility. We live in a global village and kind of a jungle. It's survival for the fittest. Where does the slowest gazelle go for protection, run to your customers and ask them why they are buying from the competition? Simply reincarnate your products or service and give them what they want. This idea of asking clients what they want should be a continuous process in your business. Point three, you must realize that the difference between a winner and runners up is usually very thin. Check your local marathon. The winner takes it all, but the difference separating him from number two is a nanosecond. That is how business is. Maybe your website looks inviting to a prospect and that alone made the difference. Maybe you offered a free ebook and that made the difference. It could be you just surprised all of your subscribers with a valuable free gift. The lesson here is to never ignore the small things that could make you millions online. Take note that if you have a decent business, then everybody is after your customers. Anytime you sleep and take things for granted, you will find your bank account has dried up. And this is usually very fast. Just look at fixed-line telephone companies and imagine where they were 10 years ago and you will agree with me.